I just want to address a few things. First of all, I'm sorry. The last post that I put up, it was. I'm not. It wasn't wrong. I think I still agree with everything I remember saying. There might have been something that slipped out of my mouth that I'm not may not a hundred percent agree with, but the feeling stands. There is a lot of pain and anger, and I just had to get it out of my body. I don't disagree with anything that I remember saying. There might have been a kinder way to say it, and I might still end up having to like you know delete and block some people if they come at me on this this one. Because it seems like I added a couple subscribers after posting that rant. So we'll see if it's for good reasons or the wrong ones. Hopefully, I'm not big enough that a lot of crazies come after me. But every now and then, I do attract some crazies. But the point is, I feel like the last one was too negative And I need to say something. First, I actually want to comment on something that it hasn't been pointed out by y'all, but I want to point it out. I said in a previous video that I probably wouldn't be doing any more videos. I should clarify what I meant is I might still do a few rants and rambles every now and then if I just have thoughts I need to get out of my head. I, it is highly unlikely that I will do any edited videos. So, yeah, I mean, you might still see an occasional video pop up. I'm not going to do any special videos where I review like I mean Christmas is coming up I doubt I'm gonna do a movie where I review oh all my a video I mean where I do all my review all my favorite Christmas movies but I might still occasionally do a video like this where I sit and talk to y'all and when I do start redo, reviewing videos just know a couple of things first of all I'm losing access there's one streaming platform that I've chosen not to pay for anymore, and there's another one that I had access to that, you know, no, someone else is, was paying for it, but I, he still let me use it. I don't have, I'm, I'm losing that, but I still have access to, like, YouTube, to Tubi. There are lots of different areas for free uh, entertainment, so I, I'm, st I'm good. Like, life goes on. Like, I might be losing access to a few specific things that I might miss, but, like, I still have entertainment options. However, when it comes to this thing, if I do do reviews and stuff, it's probably going to be something older. Uh, well, there will hardly be anything, like, in the year 2025, I'm probably not going to be able to review anything that gets released in 2025. <laughs> So, yeah, that's why there's going to be a lot of nostalgia-based things on this channel when I do do content reviews. And uh, as far as 2025 is concerned, well, I'd be lying if I said I was looking forward to it, but can't be worse than this year. This has been an objectively bad year. Also, let me clarify something I feel like some people might be misunderstanding. I did... This job, when I made that, at the time that I made the last video, I had, my last paycheck put me over $9,000. $9,000 in eight months is not a ton of money. But I'm not struggling, I'm not broke. I mean, I'm struggling a little, but that's struggle of my own creating because I like having a safety net. So I give myself a budget to live within because shit goes wrong. I couldn't have predicted 2020, but I am so grateful that I had that safety net because 2020 hit and my bank account dropped. I went, I want to say four months without a job, if I'm remembering correctly. And when I got my job, it was literally at the last second because when I got hired, I had $500 left in my bank account. I was not going to be able to pay rent next month. And I know there was like an eviction freeze, but even if you, they can't evict you for not paying rent, you still have those rent payments over your head. So I, I got this job at the right time, just barely survived. And that's why, like that's always gonna be in my mind. So I like having something saved up, just in case. I may not need it, but I can live life more comfortably knowing that I have it because you can't predict shit happening. Like I, I, I didn't plan on getting fired from this current job, but it happened. Well, not this current job, the last one that I had. But anyways, that's a thing. But I, I, I can still live comfortably. 
Cause like I still made closer to twenty thousand on the year. Cause like my very first paycheck of the year before I started this new job, like in January, my first paycheck was over two thousand. So I I have I had enough that I can stretch it out without dipping too much into my savings. And so overall, I've still made enough on the I've still made more than I've spent on the year so far. We'll see what happens in December. My paychecks are, have been increasing recently just because with the job, things are going wrong, which is good for me because I'm the first guy they call when they when someone else can't come in because I live nearby, so it's easy for me to drop everything I'm doing and heading. Hopefully, they don't call me in today just because I've been, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I've been walking so much, and I am exhausted. And I need at least one day to just not leave my house every week. If I need at least one, which actually technically I did leave my house, but that was to buy candy and Taco Bell. But that's not the point. The point is I need at least one just relaxed day, no worries, just for me. And tomorrow doesn't count because technically it's a relaxed day, but it's also like a relax for the future by doing something that could potentially stress me out nowadays. Long story short, I'm going to the San Antonio Museum of Art, which I haven't been to in over a decade. I'm going there specifically to interact with people. I've been thinking I haven't been to Sama since I left college. So it's been over a decade. Let's see what they got going on now. And then it's like, oh, there's this event happening. Other people that I know happen to be going, whatever. So perfect. I have an excuse to be there. But still... Like, today counts as my rest day because tomorrow is an adventure day. The point is, see, y'all see why I, I edit? I, I rant. It's, anyways, whatever. The point is, I'm, am I making as much money as I wish I could have made? No. But am I make, have I made more than enough to get by? Oh, yeah. I'm good. I'm not struggling, but let's be honest, if I made a hell of a lot more money, I'd be even happier. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have to worry about tomorrow, because if I made, like, fuck it, if I double it and I'm making 40000 a year, like, I don't know if I've ever spent 30000 in a single year. I mean, I, I, I've always lived below my means. I don't need to go out to do stuff, you know? I don't... I don't need to buy the PlayStation 5. I'm still on a 3, honestly. It's dying. My PlayStation 3 is dying. It's on its last leg. But it works. That's what's important. It, it, I'm not a hardcore gamer. I don't do streaming stuff. I play three games, honestly. And it's like a few times a month, maybe. But... Like it, so like I'm on. The, I'm. I've always been the kind of person that's like, hey, I do what I need. To, like I have more than enough for what I need to get by. I don't need luxury. And if I ever did make a million dollars, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I mean, maybe go on my first vacation ever. And by vacation, I mean like overseas, like Italy or Japan or something. But like that's I. I've kind of resigned myself to that's probably not happening in my lifetime. But. It's on the list. Like, it is on the bucket list. If I ever make so much money that I don't know what to do with it, here's a whole list of shit that I won't do specifically because it costs money that I will finally be able to do. But I'm fine. I just want y'all to know. I'm fine. Okay? And I think we're going to be fine, too. We might have some difficult years. We're going to have some very difficult years. Let's be fucking honest. Things are going to get better before they get no things are going to get worse before they get better but i said this after the first time drunk got elected is that sometimes when you take a few steps back it's so you can get a running start and take a huge leap forward and so i'm i'm still hopeful that that's what we see that you know one of the darkest times in american history not counting the 1860s obviously which I'm still not saying that we can't, that couldn't happen. Just I'm hoping it doesn't go that far this time, because I don't I don't want to get caught up in that shit. I don't think anyone does. Not realistically. Not anyone who understands what that all really means, what it entails, what you would have to go through, the shit you would see. I don't want to deal with that. So hopefully we can stay civil and just bear through it. And make better decisions next time. And hopefully this doesn't derail too many people's lives. But unfortunately, 
it is going to derail a few people's lives and a lot of people are going to suffer and that sucks and and I'm sorry but it, it there's nothing I can do about it nothing at this point is just like well, well there's nothing we can do about it now there is something we can do about it in the future and hopefully going forward more people will make the right decisions but I know one thing man I'm I'm used to it. That's the good thing about be having an unhappy childhood. You know, when you get used to unhappiness, you know, a little bit of pain and a little bit of struggle is not enough to completely derail your life. Okay? Because all my life I had to fight. All my life, hard times. Like, yeah, I'm fucked up. You fucked up. But God got us, homie. And we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. Can you hear me? Can you feel me? We gonna be all right. I, there was something else I was going to say, but I completely forgot. it. I feel like I got the message. 2024 has been a long year with a lot of hard lessons. And even though objectively, objectively speaking, on paper, 2024 has been a very bad fucking year. I'm actually happy. I personally have more good memories of 2024 than I do bad. I've had some, I've gone on new adventures, I've had new experiences, I've met new people, I've, it's, I've grown a lot as a person, and I am legitimately living my best life, and I think that's the key, the world is always going to suck, but it is true that life is what you make it, so let's make it rock, okay, you gotta live your best life, regardless of what the world is throwing at you, so all I can say is, now, to my fellow Americans, even the shitty ones who made the wrong fucking choice, I hope you're living your best life, and I hope you can find the joy in every single day, because that's the key, just finding the joy. It took me 34 years to realize that, but now that I have learned that, hopefully I never unlearned it, and I have bad days, I'm not going to lie, I have bad days where I forget that lesson. I have days when I legitimately wake up in the morning and I can't think of a single reason to get out of bed. I just want to lay there until I waste away to nothing. It is hard sometimes. Life is hard. It can be hard just living. But it can also be really, really fun sometimes. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to make it fun. It's not going to be fun on its own. You got to go out and grab the fun. You gotta grab the fun by the balls. And when you're famous, when you're a celebrity, they let you. They let you. The fun just let you grab it by the balls. <sighs> Anyways. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna go chill, enjoy the rest of my day. I'm gonna try my best to enjoy the rest of the year. Try my best to enjoy much of next year. Even though there's not a lot I'm really looking forward to right this moment. As far as money's concerned, do I wish I had more? Of course, doesn't everybody fuck? 20,000 in one year is nothing to brag about, but I'm all right. I'm doing fine. I'm gonna buy Christmas presents for my family this year. It's gonna be cheap, shitty presents, but I'm gonna, I just feel guilty about coming with nothing. So I'm gonna buy him something. Point is, like, we good. I'm good. I don't want people to worry. I'm good. And I know y'all are good too. And if you're not, I'm sorry. And I wish I could say this too will pass, but it won't. Life always sucks. Find some good. Please. Just it's hard some days it's harder than others, but the good is out there. You just you gotta find it and you gotta fight for it. You gotta fight for your right to be happy. So until the next time you see me in a video, or however long it is and whatever format that video takes, my name is Nathan Lyle. Hope you have a great day, week, month, year. And just be happy. Find something that makes you smile. Take care of yourself.